Okay, today we're going to be looking at the laws of logarithms. So, we're going to, we're going to um, state that if x and y are positive, a is greater than 0 but not equal to 1. These are the laws of logarithms. So firstly we have the multiplication law. Which states if log a x y is equal to log base a x plus log base a y. Then we've got the division law so the log a base a x over y then the log of a base a x is going to minus the log base a y and finally we've got the power law which as we see, we're going to see in a minute will become very very useful so if we've got log of a x and that's raised to the power m that's equal to m log a to the x so you can prove these so the log of a x y is the same as saying the log of a then if we do a log a x remember if we do that that's just the same as x plus the log a or oh no a log sorry a y that's the same as saying the log of a a log a x oh it's meant to be times sorry that's it this is plus a log ax plus log ay and that equals log to base ax plus log to the base ay sorry about that, that was a bit messy um, <coughs> this is very similar in the proof so we've got log to base ax over y which is the same as log a to the a log a x over a log a y which is now if you remember this is the same as saying minus a log a x that's the power not made that very clear minus log a y which is the same as log a oh, x minus log a y and then the power law proof so we've got log a x power m same as is equal to log a now you've got a raised to the power m log a x
which is the same as log a, we've got am Oh, the M's of a minute, that bit there is so we have <coughs> we've rewritten this x as a log a to the x and then we raise that to the power m. So it's the same, so then we can take the m and multiply it by the am, but then we still have the log a x and that's multiplied by m as well so then that m can come down here m log a to the x because that a just becomes m and that comes down there and then that just is x and then from the power rule, we can also, I'll write it up here, this is another useful um, identity, log a to the 1 over x is the same as log a to the x minus 1, so just as just um, done that before, which is minus log a to the x. Um, so this identity here is really going to be quite useful to you. So let's use <coughs> these rules to do some examples. So we want to simplify these expressions. So firstly we're going to have log base 2, 3, plus log base 2, 5. Now for for these identities to work, the bases need to be the same. Um, so that's going to be equal to log base 2, 3 times 5, which is log 2 to the 15. Similarly, log 3, 8 minus log 3, 4 is going to be log 3, 8 over 4 which is log 3, 2. And this now log two, um, 2 log 5, base 5, 2, plus log 5, base 5, 3. So first we're going to use the power law to um, turn this into log 5. 2 to the power 2 plus log 5, 3. 2, to, 2 squared is going to be 4. So now we can take our use our multiplication rule to have 4 times 3. So it's log base 5, 12. Um, let's do something a bit more tricky. So we're given that log to the base 4 p is equal to x and log to the base 4 q is equal to y and we want to express the following in terms of x and y. So firstly log to the base 4 p raised to the fifth 5 log to the base 4 Q squared. So we'll use the power law. So we'll take the 5 over here. But log to base 4 P is X and log to base 4 Q is Y. So it's just going to be 5X minus 2Y. Next, we'll do log for base 4 um, square root of p plus 5 log base 4 cube root of q. So this here 
So p, square root of p is the same as p raised to the half. So we'll do, take the half out here with the power law. And this here, um, cube root of q, sorry, is the q to the third. So we can take the third out. So it's going to become 5 over 3 log 4 to the q. So it's going to be a half x plus 5 thirds y. And finally, we're going to do log to base 4, 64 over p. So that becomes log 4. Now we've got 4. It's going to be 64. I'll break this down a bit more. Minus log 4 to the p. Now, 64 is the same as saying 4 cubed. So we're going to get log 4, base 4, then 4 cubed, minus log x to the p. Now the we've got a base 4 and we've got 4 thirds, so that's just going to be um, 3 minus log, p to, log 4 to p, and that is x. So I hope that makes sense.